The school is my home. The school is charming, it's cute, it's cozy. It's that orange, which is my favorite color. It's very welcoming. It's, it allows, students come in, we greet them, and we offer them coffee. And that's the type of place that Isla is. Puerto Rico is only 111 by 35 square miles, but we have mountains, beaches, we have adventure tours, we have historical tours, we have any type of water sports. Anything that a student wants or a visitor to Puerto Rico needs or wants, we have it. In general, it's, Puerto Rico has so much to offer. There, it's just more than what meets the eye. When you first arrive to San Juan, San Juan is a very densely populated city and it has 50% of all the island's population is in basically 20 miles. So when you first arrive to San Juan, you see a busy, dense city. And many people, when they first arrive, they say, oh, this is like a regular big city, a metropolis, and it is, it's a regular city, but it's not an American city. We are a US Commonwealth, but we are very, very Latin in our culture. And that's one of the reasons that I love Puerto Rico. It gives you that comfort that you need originally, but when you scratch the surface, it's kind of like, a, I, I tell students it's like a cake. The frosting is American, but the cake, the flavor, the mass, the flour, the dough, everything is very Latin. And you're gonna get that in your homestay experience, you're gonna get that with the teachers, you're gonna get that in the street when you're talking to people. You're gonna see that as you interact and you live in Puerto Rico that week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever you decide to come down. Puerto Rico is a U.S. Commonwealth, therefore U.S. citizens do not need to have a passport to come to Puerto Rico, so it's a great beginner study abroad program for anybody from the United States who's never done an international program or study abroad program because they don't have to have a passport, they don't need to change currency, same currency, same electrical system, same postal system. So it's very, very easy for our students from the U.S., from the East Coast, especially easy. I mean, you get on a plane at 8 in the morning, you're here at 1 in the afternoon. It's a jump. From Europe, there are direct flights from Spain and from England to Puerto Rico twice a week. And that makes it pretty accessible as well for our students coming in from Europe. Personally, I'm a mountain girl. I was born in the mountains, I love horses, I, I think that the Yunque, which is our national rainforest, and it's the only um, subtropical rainforest in all the United States and its territories, is number one. That and Old San Juan. Old San Juan is a 500-year-old city. We were a colony of the Spaniards for 400 years, so the Spanish influence is huge. The cobblestones, the buildings, everything is history right there. And it's a worldwide heritage, UNESCO heritage site that's been protected and maintained. And those, for me, are the two staples of what Puerto Rico has to offer. We make sure we offer at least one tour per week, depending on how many students we have enrolled that week. We'll include either a walking tour of Old San Juan, a rainforest tour, farmer's market, which is so incredible to just see how the locals eat and buy food and what Puerto Rico produces in the mountain range, everything's there. And it helps you discover the flavors of the island just by seeing the setup. Bacardi, because students love Bacardi, who doesn't want two free shots of rum. And we also inc will include the botanical gardens or piñones. And piñones is a little section right off Isla Verde, which is where the locals really go to hang out to have like their fried fritters and their food. We can arrange for an additional cost Canopy zip lining tours, catamaran tours, the bio bay, which there's only five in the world and Puerto Rico is fortunate enough to have three of them. It's kayaking at night through the mangroves into a shimmering bay. It's awesome, once in a lifetime type of experience. Or Ponce and the caves. Ponce is to the south, it's 16th century architecture and the caves are to the west, about an hour, they're day trips. So we'll include those over the weekend. The school is located in Atorrey, which is the financial district of San Juan. 
You have to imagine Sang Huang as a T. In the short end of the T, you have Old Sang Huang, Condado, and Isla Verde, which is the tourism section. It's all beachfront, and Old Sang Huang is the historical area. And then in the long part of the T, you have San Turce, which is the old merchant district, Ato Rey, which is the financial district, and Rio Piedras, which is the university district. So we're in Ato Rey, which is the heart of that T, okay? We chose it because there's a train that comes from Bayamón, one of the suburbs, in a U-form all the way to Santurce. So we're right in the middle of the collective transportation unit of the Tren Urbano, and all of our homestays live in Ato Rey or Rio Piedras, the University District. So it feeds really well into our location. Our homestays are my little grandmas. Not all of them are that old, but they are that sort of feeling, matronly, older ladies, most of them have empty nests because, you know, they have adult children and they have extra rooms in their homes. And it's basically, you have your little old grandmothers or you have your university bohemian style world traveler. Those would probably be the two characteristics that you can see in our homestays. And it's, it's an awesome experience. Like I said, all of our homestays are within walking distance of the school or within walking distance of a train or bus stop where they can easily access the school. And that's one of the main things. We want people to live in real neighborhoods. We want people, we want our students to live where people really live, but also that they can easily access the school so that it's not a challenge to access us. The interaction with the homestay will be in Spanish. And besides living in a real neighborhood and having to get around and having to access things by themselves in Spanish, also will the interaction with the homestay is in Spanish and that enhances their experience outside of the classroom. I'm in love with the school. I fell in love with meeting people. I fell in love with seeing people come to Puerto Rico without being able to say anything in Spanish or, you know, doubting their own capacities in the language skills. And then at the end of the week or the end of two weeks or the end of their program, seeing them you know, not want to speak in English or not want to speak in French and wanting to communicate only in Spanish because they had gained that confidence. It's both language acquisition and it's also confidence. I can really understand what students are going through and their struggles to learn Spanish. I was born to two very liberal hippie parents and one of the first trips that I ever took lasted about two and a half years and it was going from Ireland to Yugoslavia. Um, with my two hippie parents and my hippie uncle and the 70s of course. They came back to Puerto Rico when my mother was pregnant with my younger brother and she had him here. We were here for about a year and a half and then we moved to Utah. I lived in Utah for five years in the 80s and we moved to Virginia. My father was working as a civil servant for the Department of Defense based on contracts. He wasn't in the military but he would accept contracts. We could easily be in one location for two months, or we could be in a location for two years. Then, we came back to Puerto Rico. I was starting high school. I had learned a little bit of Spanish, you know. Your mom always yells out your full name, and don't do that, and you know, some food items, bendición, in Spanish. But I wasn't really fluent in Spanish. My mother thought that the best and easiest way to get me to learn Spanish when we got to Puerto Rico was to stick me in a Spanish nun's school. And so from not speaking any Spanish, I went to being quizzed on the meal seat. <laughs> and that wasn't so fun. I worked really, really hard on my accent in Spanish and I was very self-conscious about it. And that's one of the things that I was challenged with in learning Spanish. And so I think that once I saw the study abroad program, that's one of the things that I really, that really enamored me of it because I could relate. I could relate to how difficult it is. And Spanish is a hard language to learn because of the verb tenses and the irregularities and the accents. And, and I can understand that because I've been there. Learn Spanish in a welcoming place surrounded by the most amazing tropical experience. Come to Puerto Rico. Come to Isla.